Hello, all Carl Barker here, and welcome back to another Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 informational video. Uh, just the things we know so far that I've managed to find. Um, I'm going to go straight to the clip in this one and I'll talk about it afterwards. So here's the clip. And as far as unlocking new parts and characters, does the system work the same way as the first game? Uh, we're changing our progression system. In, so in Garden Warfare 1, uh, we had our star system that sort of let you level up and unlock sort of different ideas. In Garden Warfare 2, we're changing each character. You're going to level up individually. So there's over 100 characters in the game now, and each one, so you will level up the ice pea shooter separately from your regular pea shooter. And you'll have certain choices along that level up way that'll choose how you customize and how you how your character plays for you. We really want you to be able to play it your way. And to level them up, we'll still complete three challenges? No. Oh, different no, way? We're, we're going to more of an XP-based system again. Oh. More details to come. We know players really liked our challenge system, they just didn't like their gaining leveled on it, so we've got a different way of doing that in the game. So there we go, Carl Duncan again speaking about the new um, XP system. I know I've already done a video confirming that there is a new XP system. I didn't have any concrete evidence of what it actually entailed. It was just speculation at the time. Um, I had little... It, different people from PopCap are going to say different things. Uh, obviously, they're not giving away too much. Closer to release, they will be feeding more information. Um, but from what Kyle has said, uh, challenges are gone. There is no more challenges, and they are moving towards a definite XP system. Um, we already know from uh, the one that I did previous from Justin Weeb that it's going to be individually ranking up each character. Um, so how do you feel about that? Um, be quite interested to know. Let me know in the comments section. Um, so yeah. I prefer the way of doing it XP based because then it gives the opportunity for PopCap to do special events like double XP. I know all the other big uh, first person shooters do that as well. Uh, but it's, it's just a fun way to get give back to your community, isn't it? Having a double XP weekend. It gets people playing again. Uh, if, it, if the levels of uh, people playing drop, they can do things like that. It keeps the, the life of the game longer. Um, people who are struggling to get their characters upgraded it also gives that opportunity to boost them as well it doesn't actually stop you as far as I know from playing with your favorite characters you can just rank that character up to the max level and don't bother using any of those it doesn't really matter we don't know fully what the overall rank system is going to be just that there's going to be XP based and it's individual ranks for each character um, so yeah what do you think about the new XP based system and the fact that challenges are now gone just to point out that is challenges within the game as in characters and not as in community challenges because we know no information about Garden Warfare 2's community challenges if there is any or if there's going to be any or not obviously there are ones running in Garden Warfare 1 and they seem quite popular so I would speculate that they probably will bring them over to Garden Warfare 2 um, and probably introduce it into the system itself um, a bit like Battlefield did where they do the daily challenges or the weekly challenges it's like incorporated if I remember in Battlefield 4 you could go to a certain part in the menu section and uh, check out how everyone's getting on so I can see that happening that sort of thing but anyway, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you with the next video. Bye for now.